Hello everyone, I'm Rob Smith, the In the Black Quantage VTF here, T3 Live, and we're coming into the end of the year, Monster Rally, and then we bring him in just a little bit. You can see that inside day and down, however, there was also dividend there in the SPY, so yeah, you can see after uh, such a monster run from here, uh, and we get the measured move out of here, it wouldn't be uncommon to pull back into something like this, or, or a little bit more. We'll see if we go to the weekly, I'm going to see this, goes hits right this stuff right to the tick, so you got this huge rally here, and so, like I said, not uncommon to uh, consolidate, we don't have too much of an actionable signal there, if we can break it down just a little bit more, if we go down to the 60 minute, you can see here, this big outside bar gets below that, and so, you know, the broader averages most likely don't do much here, but uh, as we've seen, case by case basis, we're going to see if we can rally back up into this thing, or it's just going to be dribble, dribble, dribble. If you go to QQQ here, QQQ tries to get out of this thing, and so we can draw this off of here, slight lower lows into this business like so, uh, but slightly here. The weekly shooter, if they want to pull back into this range, and we'll get to some of that tech in a little bit, that uh, suggests maybe that occurs. But as you can see here, uh, no new actionable signal. You can see this uh, one, two, three, trying to get through one twenty-one, backing off into here. But uh, it, it appears coming in the end of the year, more case by case basis. If we go to Apple. Here, Apple going to start off as an inside day, and the good thing for Apple, somewhat here, is you do have this. You do have that monthly shooter countered by hammer and above that. So that's good, above 1377. Uh, how far it's going to go if we go to the weekly, you'll see this. If we can get it going inside day and come up there, maybe 120-ish and t try and take this stuff out. Uh, but, uh, you know, we'll have to see. Uh, if we go to TLT, TLT still hurting. And on the weekly going moment, Momo Shooter. Momentum shooting star here on the lows, tries to rally, fails, goes right back to the low. So momentum shooter in force anytime this week below 116.80. If we go to, oh uh, yeah, the VIX products, XIV, giddy up, weekly Momo Hammer, as we try and fulfill the big old monthly triangle. And oh, how they, th they thought it was over. And, uh, you know, one of the things that... Uh, confuses people as how these things are constructed svxy vxx and all that uh you know it's that they don't uh, you know even if the market pulls in uh these things don't don't dislike a down market they dislike the contango and the option the vix options which are heavily in contango right now and as long as that continues that's how you can continue to see this thing move up even if the market softens so uh watching a momentum hammer in those vix products if we go to um uvxy all right die baby so uh hopefully we're going to get this thing to uh announce a reverse split soon because uh that's what we like because nothing like a good reverse split here you go 20 inside day boom down to below nine in uh you know in a short order so hopefully we can get that to announce pretty soon if we go to the dow jones diamonds dow jones diamonds obviously the huge run up once again here so the question is, how much would they retrace uh, this business in here, right in here? So uh, you can see still tight range, two-day inside pattern up into here. Uh, and the weekly is a slight uh, shooting star here if they want to start pulling them in after uh, all this business. If we go to uh, Boeing, Boeing goes weekly shooting star here, still green on the month, but once again, uh, one heck of a run, 130, 160, and so even if we do pull back in, uh, it would still slightly be green on the on the month, and if you go to the daily, the, the move up is look like this pretty much, just they bring it right into this stuff here, now trying to come through that a little bit, and you know, you know when guys say, oh, it's breaking trend, usually it's just going to triangle them out, and uh, so it's not the end of the world, uh, but we'll pay attention to that uh, shooting star in the, in the Dow and Boeing, if you go to IBM, IBM the same after a nice move goes up now you got this shooting shooting star doji here to see if they can uh, take that in if you go back further you'll see this here you can see how it comes off of this one two three four right into here so uh, we'll respect that should they things start to pull in a little bit like I said how far they're going to go is another story but Nike still a pig and Nike here you'll see this here here tries to get out of this range tries to get out of this range takes them all out and comes right back in shooter here and so the main problem that would have here was that you've got all this thing on the daily 
here tries to take all this stuff out. So the question, they're going to go back and test the other side and try to take all this stuff out here. You would have that shooter. And as far as the time frame continuity uh, is concerned, uh, a 5011. So at 5011, that would flip the month back red. So uh, certainly pay attention to that, especially when we see how some of this retail has been doing. If you go to Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola goes inside week. First of all, it goes inside, inside day, trying to get out of this business in here to see if it can fight back up into there or if it's just going to drop back in. Inside week like this here, and as you can see, uh, the defensive names have uh, struggled comparatively. So the question is, are they going to finally make a move back into some defense and try and pull back up into here? Or is it just going to roll in or multiple inside week pattern? You see Pepsi here acting a little better. And uh, if we go to the XLP... XLP does have that weekly shooter if it wants to take that out. However, it's going to start off here, XLP, uh, as an inside day if they want to take another shot up into here because we have an outside bar slightly taken out. Potentially, that can be pretty good uh, if they want to hold it here because this is fractal triangle like I'll show you on the daily. Fractal triangle looking like this. Bam. Higher high, lower low, higher high, low. Lower low, higher high. They're trying to see if they can take a shot up into there, but uh, uh, we'll see if we go into just a couple of those things here. You can go post cereals. Uh, remember, here is trying to go Revstrat month here, and is Revstrat month above 78.33. So we're going to keep an eye on that level. And if you go to Kellogg's, uh, Kellogg's uh, just would be Revstrat to the downside here. Inside week countered with shooting star goes rev strat below 72.84 this week. If we go to the trannies, trannies going inside week after a run into the highs. And like I said, that's not uncommon when you come from all the way here, chop, 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 go. And then you take out those highs and just stalls out a little bit uh, as an inside week. And so the question is, is it going to be weak enough to take that stuff out if it does drop in? Uh, you know, we'll see it be subsector there. The subsector is uh, uh, always good to watch. So if you go to American Airlines, remember American Airlines goes inside week and uh, went right to that spot we were looking for on the monthly. Here, triangle them out, lower low, higher high, lower low, higher high, and then stalls out without making all-time highs. And uh, not the end of the world, but it is inside week. And that inside week form in here, this chop in here. And this is why you want to know if something's still inside on a longer term time frame because it's easy to get chopped up and stuff like this. So we'll see if it can, can drop back in here. If it drops back in, you got this triangle down here about 44, 50, and change something like that. Go to Delta. Delta also inside week here. And Delta comes up and just shy here on the monthly, I believe, right? 5277. 5276 missed by a penny uh so we'll see if that's kiss of death or not but inside weeks to keep an eye on those two uh we also have uh southwest air southwest air a little bit better uh but just starting off as an inside day it would also be shooter if they take it down though uh so you got this inside day after the slight higher high and so when you see something like that you get onto a 60 minute and you'll see something like this oops that was still higher, so we're going to see this. Lower, low, higher, high, lower, low, higher, high. We can keep an eye on that 60-minute triangle if you do. Uh, if we go to uh, Spirit Airlines, save. Save goes inside week and still handily off the all-time highs here. So if uh, save wants to keep it going, but you're going to start off once again. Here is an inside day and tight triangle business up in here. So uh, we'll see how that goes. And so when I say tight triangle, I mean, like, when you have these big run-ups, you know, it's not like they're usually going to just, you know, butcher them straight down. And that's why we'll have these signals. But uh, more often than not, you, you know, even if they do start moving lower, it's uh, it, it oftentimes is gradual, but we'll see. If we go to United Airlines, United Airlines inside day, and that is inside day right on the highs here so you make it into those higher highs question is that a good point to stall out but uh, the inside day will tell us and if you go to that 60 you're going to see something like this here so i talk about something like these tight triangles you're going to be watching here like so if we go to um choo choo cni and cni comes up and does this on the weekly Going weekly shooter here after coming off of this here. One, two, three, up into there. And now see if it can drop back into this triangle or take another shot up. It's also an inside day to start off the week. If we go to uh, 
CSX, CSX, uh, like I said, a lot of these things going just ticking into new highs and then dropping back in. So we'll have to see how far that can go. Uh, if we go to um, Union Pack, Union Pack still well off the highs, and that can be a good thing. And you're going inside week here, and you can see this triangle in here, bam, 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 bam. Now trying to use this one as support. And when we talk about triangles becoming support and resistance, you can see this here, bam, 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 bam. Triangle needs to grow, it does. And now trying to use this as support on that inside week. And the reason that, you know, when people draw horizontal lines, that's incorrect because time has passed. So t time moves like that, not sideways, as anybody who's experienced time knows. All right, if we go to uh, TRN. TRN here, uh, a little bit better. We get TRN on the weekly. does have the shoot, shooting star countered by hammer. And what that means is uh, they take a shot at the upside, blow them out on the upside, br bring them back on the downside, outside, almost an outside day, and then trying to muscle up in there. So we'll respect that above here. And that's going to be uh, 28.54. If we go to uh, FedEx... FedEx weekly shooting star after ripping into the highs. You can see what kind of a move this has had. And uh, pulling back a little bit. Yes. How far are they going to hit it? That's another story, but we will respect this uh, below 195.45 UPS. Goes up there outside week. And so outside week uh, is fractal triangle, and you'll see that on the 60 when they take, when they take out both sides of this range in here. So really want to see UPS get outside of that. See this tight range, took it out to the upside, takes it down to the downside. Now UPS has to get outside of that, and that would be an expansion of that triangle once you're outside of that week, but it would have to stay outside. Uh, so you know, otherwise, going inside week. Go to J.B. Hunt Trucker. J.B. Hunt Trucker after this huge run, also an inside week, and uh, going into those highs off of that. So you know, we'll see how that goes. Go to the Utes. Not much in the Utes here. You can see this month, green month, but still stuck in this two-month range here. And, uh, you know, what's getting interesting here is, uh, if you take a look at this, how are we going to try and go back? Remember when we are watching all this business in here and then come up and take these guys out? And then here, uh, the big outside day, and then take that slightly down. But not too much going on there. If you go to EXC, you're going to see this. Remember we were watching this. Triangle needed to grow, and it did. Now it's up back into here, but uh, nothing really new on that. We do have, it is still monthly hammering up. And remember this long range, and it's been a lot higher in the EXC here, but uh, we'll see how those go. Uh, if we go to XME, and XME, now coming back in on the month. It had a nice run. Now coming back in just about on change and dropping back in. If we go to gold, whew, gold, uh, and still on the monthly here, could only muster this, couldn't get up and take this stuff out, and still dropping in, I was just doing the waka waka on the downside, no actionable signals there, but uh, you can see how it came through, momentum shooter on the weekly, and then down into oblivion here, and now just kind of stuck down in the mud here, <laughs> if you go to silver, silver looking like this now, little extension of this and that, to give you the higher high, the lower low, the higher high, the lower low, to see if it can hold that, if they're going to accelerate. Remember on these monthlies, uh, if this is just corrective activity, this, these months here, uh, it's, it could be rough sledding still. But if we go to GDX, GDX, remember last week, went uh, rev strat week here by going inside, then shooter countering the inside bar here so rev strat down so uh, nothing really new as far as actionable signals over there you've got uh, au here au took care of business on the inside week and down and once again on those longer term triangles if this was all corrective activity oops <laughs> oops and right back into oblivion so uh, we'll see how that goes if we go to newmont Newmont's still trying to maintain an inside month, uh, and so Newmont holding up a lot better than the others. You can see this here. does uh, have this range here. Can't get out of this stuff in here, uh, but so far uh, holding a little tougher by staying inside month, but uh, outside of that, nothing going on there. If we go to uh, Alcoa, 
Now, Coa just going to keep an eye on, remember this baby, and we got to spin off and then boom. And so we're just keeping an eye on this triangle here to see how it can get out of that. Nothing too exciting there. If we go to letter X, uh, just some consolidation after this. So the question is, uh, is this going to drop back in? No, no real new actionable signal there either. Uh, FCX here dropping back in, and after trying to do this would be the problem. Uh, these one, two, three, four, five, six months and get a slight up here. I'm not going to try and challenge to come back in here because now we, now we can try and go back in like this if they just took all these guys out and that's all they got in here. But we'll see uh, if anything new surfaces there, no actionable signals. If we go to the uranium guys, CCJ and CCJ, Cameco. Monthly used to be somebody, and now just trying to come off the lows here, and so starting off as momentum hammer weekly to try and get back up into this stuff. So we'll see if that uh, if there's any hope for nukes. If we go to uh, the financials, FAS goes inside week. XLF just misses by going slight higher high, I believe. Yep, slight higher high there in KRE goes inside week and so after the monster run they've had uh you know that's uh, not certainly not uncommon and if you go to fas uh you're going to see the 60 minute like this so to start off i want to see how this goes you can see the higher high lower low higher high lower low slide into here and then dropping back in so i want to see even if it starts to take this out uh once again on the weekly even if it does go inside week and down, uh, it would have to stay down there. It's bright green on the month. It's bright green on the month, but as you can see here, even a, a week and down would more likely be a two-bar pattern and not take that out. Now, we'll respect it down there, but uh, any change in continuity, a new day, a new 60, certainly could just hold as a two-bar pattern in here. So uh, we'll just be aware of that. Uh, if we go to City Corp, City Corp inside week and starting off inside day here to see uh, once again here you can see it's just this tight range and so it wouldn't be uncommon to take a little shot at the lows and take all these guys out but uh come 58 and change and then a reclaim of this stuff uh would just be upper level triangle we'll see how that goes jp morgan jp morgan you can see here just that slight higher high and slight lower low and that's going to give you uh the initial 60 minute triangle to keep an eye on here to see how it get how it gets out of that if you go to bank of america See that very similar up in there, and you'll see these on the dailies like this. The tight, the outside bar slightly takes the outside bar to the upside, another outside bar that slightly got taken out. So uh, it wouldn't be surprising to take that out, and that's 2221. But then uh, whether it stays down there or not, it's not inside on the on the week is Bank of America. Wells Fargo is, and Wells Fargo, Remember this triangle, lower level triangle here, goes up, goes rev strat week up to the highs. Now a big inside week. So the Wells Fargo going to have more of a tougher time not being an inside inside week. If we go to uh, PNC Bank, PNC Bank, actually almost a momentum hammer up in here, but um, after the monster run once again, we'll be paying attention to this slight higher high after the outside bar because if you go to the 60, you're going to see this. Like so, and like so, you can keep an eye on that. If we go to uh, SIVB, oh yeah, and SIVB starting off as an inside day here, and after the slight higher high, so not uncommon to come and take this kind of stuff out. And, and remember on the monthly, oh, it did that thing, it did. Higher high, lower low, higher high, lower low, momentum hammer, boom, and now just stalling out into the new highs, which is not uncommon. Like I said, inside day, uh, we'll see if they bring them in, how far they're going to go is another story. All right, STI, uh, still you can see like a lot of this stuff, bright green on the month, and just watching this outside bar reclaim into here uh, to see how it takes that. If you go to the 60, you're going to see this, like so. Go into the highs. See if it's going to be weak enough to come in here and challenge this stuff like that. If we go to uh, U.S. Bank, another same type of dealio, except a little weaker. And I mean, so this is UBS, U.S. Bank. 
and U.S. Bank, once again, you're just keeping an eye on this here, this inside day tight consolidation to see if it's going to be weak enough to at least take this thing out. Uh, but it doesn't, you know, at this point, tough to get real big moves out of these things, especially the downside. But, you know, if we get these signals, uh, we watch them to reconfirm. If you go to American Express now, American Express having an inside day right near the highs. And the good thing for American Express is it's still well off the all-time highs, and it sets up that inside day if they want to, just keep rotating into some financials. You got a momentum daily hammer inside day, uh, a momentum weekly hammer for American Express. We've got a Capital One. Uh, Capital One just still hanging tight, and just a lot of these tight 60 minute triangles to keep an eye on in the financials, which is normally what you're going to see after a big run up. So, see how it gets out of that. If we go to Visa, Visa are just a little bit different, and Visa goes up on the daily and does this. Shooter, shooter drops back into this stuff, and what that does is it causes potential for the rev strat week. Inside week counter with shooter, so that goes rev strat week below 77.91. Goldman Sachs, and yeah, not uncommon to consolidate after this run, right? And so uh, this is how we can spot that too, is you have this outside day countered with shooting star and dropping back in, all right? So that outside uh, outside day is going to give you the triangle that we know so we can boom 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 and now dropping back into this we'll see how it handles uh, anything down into here you can even draw it off of like this like so and see how that hap handles that morgan stanley it goes inside weak like a lot of that stuff so we'll keep an eye on those together you've got prudential here uh just hanging near the highs but then doing this here, the inside day, and you can see this outside bar here, so we can see how that comes into something like that. Once again, go to the 60, so you can keep an eye on these as they move along. The slight lower low, like so, after going into the higher highs. Okay, so if we go to uh, the crude Earl and, and friends, uh, crude, if we go to the ECO, remember the only good things is about this monthly, hard to see on these leveraged crappers, but the good thing was it tried to go rev strat last month and then countered with hammer. So it's still hammer above, the UCO is above 1050. Uh, so that's a good thing. If we go to the weekly, still trying to get outside of this stuff. And so once again, tighter triangle stuff, you see this slight higher high off of that. And a slight lower low off that. Need to get out of this thing. All right, no new actionable signals over there. If you go to XLE, XLE, just open on the highs of the week, dropped in, and then goes here. Remember on the monthly, we're still trying to get out of all this stuff. But anytime, you know, the good thing is outside month above 75.12. So we'd want to stay above that. And starting off as an inside day, and you got XOP here, uh, sim much similar, although, as you can see here in XOP, Test it. We're red on the month and testing that 4201 right to the number there where it would drop back in. Once again, we know these triangles become support and resistance. So if you go back, you're also going to see this. See the higher high, the lower low, the higher high, the lower low, upper level triangle of that. But if we take this daily out, you're going to see where the, it's trying to stay above that fractal triangle, which is the outside month, which looks like this. Higher high, lower low, higher high, lower low. Come back up to it. Drop in, then scream through it. Use it as support, and then higher level support as the triangle moves higher. Uh, but what you'll see here is it's a lot of case-by-case -case basis. Uh, here's OIH, and OIH, remember, tried to get out of this thing here. This outside month, and that's to be outside month above 3303, which it's nicely of. And the good thing about these oils have been in, in history, they've been a lot higher, and we've talked about that. Uh, but it's going to come down to the underlayer. If you go to Chevron, Chevron goes momentum hammer on the weekly here. So still the power drive gets this triangle amount consolidation and then getting out of here. And so right now, Chevron would be momentum hammer above. 118.99 as you got Exxon, which is a one rev strat month. Remember, inside month pokes below, opens and closes within the month. Rev goes rev strat month above 88.19, uh, but just no new actionable signals outside of that right now, except holding that gap. If we go to BP, BP a little different here now. BP is trying to go weekly momentum hammer here to try and get out of this range. You can see the slight lower lows. You'll see the higher high. You'll see this. 
bunch of business in here. But Guz Momentum Weekly Hammer, and remember on the monthly, uh, here, Shooter Hammer, and now above that to try and take a shot to get out of here. Now you're going to have Weekly Hammer, uh, Monthly Hammer combination above that stuff. you got a CLR, a little bit different of a story. Opens on the highs of the month and drops in, and... That's why you want to be aware of multiple bar pattern because these two weeks, although it went weak and down, still completely within this bar's range. And so that needs to change, and you're right dead in the middle of it. Uh, nowhere near taking that out, so you want to be careful when you trade something like that. Carrizo, Carrizo the same, CRZO, uh, the same. And just being aware of like when things drop in and the ones that open on the highs of the month and are coming in because uh, they're the ones that are presently challenged because they have never taken out the monthly opening. If you go to MRO... MRO, still trying to get outside of this outside month, and other variation of the rev strat is the inside bar that takes out both sides here, comes down and comes up, and then forms the hammer. So above this is rev strat up above 1928. Inside bar countered with actionable signal, which is hammer here. So, uh, And once again, one of those guys who used to be somebody, if they want to keep coming back up. Daily, you're going to see this. Slight higher high, slight lower lows. All right, if we go to uh, Noble Energy. So Noble Energy, you can see a little bit different here on the monthly. No actionable signal here, but you can see this is green on the month and holding and holding towards the high. So uh, presently uh, outperforming those other ones. Uh, we could use some actionable signals and once again, watching the underlier. Uh, if we go to NFX, NFX, Again, here now going trying takes the monthly back red by doing this on the weekly. Yeah, outside week to the downside after going into the highs. The good part is, or should I say, can be the confusing part. Here's that outside day, takes that to the downside. And now goes hammer to see if it wants to pull back up into this range, uh, depending on what's going on. If we go to uh, OAS. OAS, still holding these gains. It was an outside week. Outside week here, so you need to get outside of that, and you're nowhere near doing it. Uh, in the grander scheme, it is still trying to hold up above that outside month. If we go to Oxy, go Oxy. Oxy taking monthly hammer here, and Oxy trying to go weekly Momo hammer here. Inside gapped up and then held and went inside up. Momentum hammer, momentum hammer to try and take all this stuff up and try and get back up into there. So you can have monthly, uh, weekly combo above all that stuff. If you go to PXD, there's another one I said, uh, you're going to have a tough time getting out of some certain things here. And it tried to get outside of this week, but two weeks completely within this big week pattern. Uh, on the daily, you'll just see this. On the daily, you can see this 184, 195 or range in here, and uh, uh, you'll know, see how it gets out of that. If we go to uh, Slobby, Slob starting off as an inside day, and still monthly chop trying to keep continue to walk up this stuff. And so on that weekly, you got this. You had that inside week that gapped up but then dropped back in. So still trying to walk up something like this here. Starts off as an inside day. Can watch the underlier and the OIH. If you go to Halliburton, Halliburton, and the good and the bad and the ugly of the Halliburton here is that on the monthly it's a doji, so it's doing nothing. All right, um, and you got this lower low, higher high, lower low, higher high, and so just kind of like a lot of things consolidating towards the highs, and oftentimes they're going to take out both sides, go to new highs, and then take out recent lows, and uh, we'll just have to watch how the actual signals move along during the week. Uh, if we go to little guys, Tidewater, Tidewater still coming out of the ashes here, uh, and remember if the, if the underlier holds, a lot of these guys aren't going out of business, and that would produce some of those nice moves we've seen before. Starting off the week is Momentum Hammer. Challenging all that. So the next one would be this outside bar here to challenge you taking out 475, which would be a nice move if we can get through that. It's all starting off as a daily momentum hammer here, too. If we go to uh, OII, and OII starting off as an inside day and one of the few the proud, the inside month and up coming off the lows, if there's any hope. If we go to uh, WMB, WMB, remember another used to be somebody and had a nice uh, daily hammer on Friday. It came roaring out of there. And what that does is it forms 
uh, the weekly hammer. So the good thing for WMB is this was a little rough. They tried to go to the highs and brought it in, but they've tried to hit it here, tried to hit it here, tried to hit it here, and it's popped back up. So that goes momentum hammer above 3096 this week. If we go to uh, some of the refiners, HFC, just starting off as an inside week and still trying to see how it can possibly start walking back up into this stuff here. But inside week uh, for a lot of this stuff, and HFC will also start off as uh, RevStrat Day. Inside day, Connor with opening and closing back into that range goes RevStrat Day above 32.28. If we go to uh, MPC, MPC one inside day and up, and remember the monthly. Watch a lot of this stuff that's uh, been higher, and then for the week, starts off as triangle support, momentum hammer, and momentum hammer above 50.64. If we go to PSX, PSX. Uh, still trying to walk up, and once again, outside month to the upside here. Here, so as long as it's above that 85.63. If you go to the daily, once again, you're going to see riding triangle support. As she tries to drift away from them. Here. If we go to uh, Valero. And Valero, once again, another been higher, been higher like a lot of this stuff, and starting off the week as potential momentum hammer inside. Like so. If we go to um, Tesoro. Tesoro, another inside week there for the refiners, and uh, also trying to hold this on the daily. Ripper, sideways, 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 inside day. So it's trying to come inside day, see if it comes off that lower level to go try and take all that stuff and take the week to start off. If we go to... Um, TRGP, Targa, and once again, used to be somebody, weekly momentum hammer to try and get out of all this business. Come back in here, test the triangle, triangle them out, go hammer, go back up here, outside, momentum hammer right here above 5503. If we go to Natty Gas, UNG, and see this triangle, they chopping them up, but good in here. So back in the middle of this stuff is going to be the problem on uh, how you get out of here. Uh, on the weekly, you can see the weekly kicker. Straight up, then gap down, kicker down, uh, but stuck in that range. And if remember Rice here, last week that was nice. The inside weekend down, now just going inside day. Uh, to see if there's any, uh, do you want to hold the triangle here or accelerate? If we go to uh, retail, ow, XRT comes in, we'll go inside weak. And boy, when you try and break out, this is what happens. And this is how the triangles uh, get people. It's like everybody last week would say, oh, it looks good. It's breaking out. It's on the highs. Bam. Next week, straight back in and inside weak. And it's still uh, somewhat of a mixed bag over there. If you go to Target, Target's still hanging around, and you can see this here. One, two, three weeks just stuck in this business. And remember, it is shooter, but uh, one of the problems this thing's have is still uh, doji on the month. And uh, still an outside month, and now inside of that, and still one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight months completely within this bar's range. So it's still trying to chop them up and spit them out there as the target. If you go to Costco... Costco still trying to stay above that uh, somewhat rev strat there here to the upside. So Costco on the weekly still trying to walk back up in here. And you can see starting off here as an inside day holding this gap so far in an inside day to start off Costco. Walmart, uh, Walmart still uh, tries to get out of the inside month. But drops back in. That's bad. So, so Walmart would need to still get out of 7209. Otherwise, potential rev strat to the downside. And that's why the triangles work. You, when you break out, you either better stay out or you are a failed breakout. And as of right now, failed for Walmart, but uh, not moving around too much. Abercrombie, ugh, still, you know, these things still. The monthly momentum shooter trying to go into oblivion to use this as a continuation monthly triangle. So uh, still in trouble here, uh, albeit momentum below 14. Uh, if we go to uh, Best Buy, Best Buy's so far shrugging them off uh, on the monthly and staying up here th towards the highs. However, now it goes inside week to see if she's for reals player or not. If we go to uh, Casey's General Stowe. 
And Casey's inside week after an outside week to see if it can continue to muster back up into this thing here. The good thing is you take the outside bar out, you come back up into the range. But now going inside week and inside day, and when you see this outside week like that, we know fractal triangle, and that's going to look like this on the daily here to try and get outside of this thing. You got an inside day potential weekly combo uh, to try and get out of there. If we go to burritos, the burritos going inside week here, but you can see still walking down this business here, albeit gradually uh, here, but an inside week after the outside week to try and get out of there. Uh, the problem is when you get towards the uh, mid or end parts of the month, uh, it's still a doji inside on the month, so you just want to be aware of that. But, uh, you know, when you get something like the uh, burritos, uh, there's enough action there to uh, to trade around it. You just want to be aware of the, any changes in time from continuity because, in general, it's uh, consolidating. Same with Dollar Tree here. You can see this inside month. Uh, you're going to have a tough time not being an inside month. Uh, however, here, and three weeks completely within this range, but for right now, just want to see how it just continues to drip off of this into the gap. Uh, if we go to uh, Foot Locker, Foot Locker uh, has been outperforming here as far as retail is concerned. Goes into the higher highs for the month. However, inside week, if she wants to join the, uh, the puker party of uh, retailers. Speaking of pukers, gas and GES went inside week and down. And like that Abercrombie, uh, not momentum, but this is a kicking pattern closed the month here and gapped all the way the other way so still in trouble below 1323 is gas if we go to low corp low corp still stuck in this business in here and so if we go to the weekly the question is how do you get out of this inside week is it going to try and take a shot towards here or is it going to drop back into this range and uh, uh do someone or nothing but if we go to rh ow somewhat doji momentum shooting outside week then shoot her here to the downside to see if this uh, pain and suffering continues. Holds the gap lower to see if it can take out, take a shot at those things here. Uh, if we go to uh, Ross Stores, Ross Stores going the other way, and Ross Stores trying to go the highs here and just going straight up. We don't have any actual signals there, but uh, certainly uh, taking a shot towards the, the new highs in there. If we go to um, Urban Outfitters, ah. In Urban Outfitters, you can see this business in here on the weekly, like so. And so on the daily, it's going to look like this. Walking down the try, like so. So the question is, can it go expando and take this thing out and start to expand down to the downside? Because um, what this thing here formed was momentum monthly shooter below here. Here, so Urban Outfitters looking for potential acceleration anytime it's below 31.44 this month. If we go to VFC Corp, more pain and suffering, albeit still uh, inside month. Starting off as an inside day to see if there's any more accelerant to the downside of that. If you go to Whole Foods, Whole Foods is looking a little better. Whole Foods coming up here, and Whole Foods going weekly momentum hammer here, and Whole Foods. Has been going all sorts of sideways on the monthly, so the question is, is it time to finally wake up off these slight lower lows and start taking a shot up towards these guys in here? Here's your lower level monthly uh, triangle to see how that's going to go. So starting off, uh, momentum hammer for Whole Foods. If we go to the IBB, an IBB, like I said, almost for sure going inside month, and that's why it's real case-by-case -case basis uh, as things tighten up. To go to the weekly here, not quite an inside week, and one, two, three, four, five weeks completely within this bar's range, and nowhere near taking either of that stuff out. If you go to BIIB, inside week, potential inside month, here, drying up, and look at this. This is why you want to know if you're trading something that's still inside. One, two, three, four, five days completely within this bar's range, doing nothing, and that's when you're going to get really chopped up. It does form an inside week, and like, like with a lot of bios, you know, usually it's news. So we go to sell gene, and sell gene also going inside month, most likely here, and on the weekly here. One, two, three, four, five weeks completely within this bar's range, nowhere near taking it out. If you go to Regeneron, eh, chopping them up, spitting them out in this triangle and right back into the middle, doji on the month, 
inside going nowhere. Uh, if anything, you're starting off as a daily shooter potentially back into there. But, uh, you know, you really want to be careful when you're, when you're looking at stuff that's going inside in the month this late. Uh, Cell, or GILD had an early burst last week, and that was a nice little burst off the weekly hammer that I talked about last week. So that had a nice burst off of that. But then uh, it stalls out by going up. This is the nice burst. Then it goes inside day and then drops back in right back in the middle of the range. So what are you going to do? Nothing. Uh, if you go to Amgen, and Amgen a little better uh, because potentially not inside month if it can take out 152.85. Uh, I just got, don't have any actual signals to do it. And then that weekly still... One, two, three, four, five weeks completely in this bar's range. So all that needs to change. You go to blue. Blue. Going inside week. And so you got this spike up here to see if, if, you know, like a lot of this stuff, does it just drop back in off this inside week and back into the range or does it start taking a run up there? But you do have an inside week to keep an eye on. Go to EW. EW inside week. Uh, and the good thing about EW inside week is you came off the lower lows here. You're not inside month because you took out the lows and are coming back. So you have the potential of an outside month, which would be good. So certainly be watching that uh, on the comeback trail. And you'll see this here forms the inside week here by doing this stuff in here. So the hopes would be gap back up, consolidate, and then take a run towards all this stuff. Uh, so we'll look for signals above the inside week. And that inside week here would be... 92.28. If we go to GWPH, uh, inside week there, and uh, remember on the monthly, did the big old triangle here, boom, 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 and now just dropping back in, but uh, that thing can move, so we'll pay attention to that inside week if it gets taken out. IDXX, here we know what a run this thing's have outside month and takes it out slightly to the upside and comes back in. So that on the weekly, what that gives us here is potential rev strat week down. We've got the inside then countered by opening and closing shooter back in there. So that would go rev strat week down below 11777. And when you see this kind of business on the weekly, you want to see it a little more clearly. You go to the daily and you pull it out and you'll see this. Like so. If we go to uh, Kite... Kite and the Cartier's coming off the lows. Still doji on the month, but it is inside week here. And once again on that daily, and I identified this a while back. Bam, 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 bam. Ex tried to expand the triangle, then goes inside day and comes right back in. So you got an inside week. Just, and above that, we can look and see if we can start taking up towards the triangle. And we can watch all the Cartier's together like Juno. Uh, nothing new there, just trying to come off, uh, come off the lows. If we go to uh, uh, Rare... Rare goes inside week here, and the good thing about this thing is, like I said, it can move, right? So we'll pay attention to that inside week, and the problem is, once again, it's one of those things inside month, but you got a big monthly range to bounce around in there, so we'll see how that week plays out. RDUS, RDUS would still be inside month, and so uh, not uncommon to reverse back into the middle of the range. And so if it's going to do that right now, you're going to start off with weekly hammer back to try and get up into this stuff and starting off daily weekly combo potential. If we go to Teva, Teva Piggy and Teva, I'm going to try to take the weekly hammer up. Now go shooter countering that hammer. And so a uh, potential problem there because you can see how it's walking down. This is about where it stops. It's about where it did. And uh, on the daily, here just you know pops up takes these guys out and so we'll see if that can take that out and take another shot towards the lows if we go to uh tesoro tesoro i mean tesoro <laughs> you can see this thing holding up a lot better when inside day and up it's still holding all these highs and on the weekly you potentially come down to take these guys and pop right back up so certainly showing more strength albeit once again going inside month but uh i always want to be aware of uh internal strength and weakness within any sector vrtx once again another inside monther but 
Doji Doji week to see if we can go take a shot towards all these guys because one measured move would be nice. Down sideways and then clobber this thing. So uh, we'll watch that inside week if the IBB and stuff like that starts to weaken. If we go to TAC, XLK, XLK weekly, and we know how strong this has been, but weekly shooter uh, after ripping him into the highs here, and then goes Rev Strat Day on Friday to see if that shooter can come back in. Semiconductor's SMH. SMH, we're a little bit better uh, as far as the the weekly are concerned, but if you can see this daily, outside day in the SMH, and so that's fractal triangle towards the highs uh, to see how that can play out. If you go once again, when you say fractal triangle, and you get a shorter term time frame, you're going to see this on the 60. You'll see him take out the highs and lose here, like so. So the question would be weak enough to take this out, and if it does, how far does it go? Uh, if we go to Facebook, Facebook, potentially, it's again Rev Strat weak to the downside. Inside weak closes back into it here and so the question is once again what is this range here so you had that inside week to try and take a shot at all this stuff it's gonna be a tall order to take that out but you did have inside week uh, because you look at the monthly here and monthly still inside month all right and gonna have a tough time not being one even if it moves up if you go to uh, Amazon Amazon are gonna have a tough time not being an inside month here uh, but similarly if they do want to bring them in they do have it does have the rev strat week inside week Oh, goes up, counters come back in. If we go to Netflix, Netflix a little better, um, but uh, still needs to get its giddy up and get along to get back through the inside month, because otherwise it's a two-month inside pattern. Uh, and that high would be 125.83, and you're starting off here as an inside day to see if it can get through that triangle or is it going to drop back in. Inside day, a potential month combo in Netflix. Google. And the Googster, uh, you know, we had that inside day here, nice move up, and then inside day, tried to get rough strat, doesn't, just drops in a little bit. What you are going to have is, uh, like the some of that tech, you're going to have that uh, weekly shooter to see if it's only strong enough to take these highs out and drops back into a range or can continue moving higher off that triangle. If we go to uh, Adobe... Adobe, another rev strat potential to the downside, created by... Your friendly neighborhood outside bar, so you have to set up to take that thing out for sure. Um, otherwise, uh, you got this multiple inside day pattern potentially cooking in there, and uh, the problem here is going to be your monthly. It's just a doji, and so you know, like I said, when you get through the month, you want to try and find ideally find things that are bright green or bright red in the month because uh, it shows you they're moving. If we get an Autodesk, uh, Autodesk is going inside day. And this thing obviously can move around. Inside day, inside week. And even if it takes the inside week, it'll be a tough time taking that out. But you can see there is plenty of range in here uh, if they want to start uh, moving this thing around because she moves. If you go to Baidu, another rev strat week potential to the downside. Uh, real tight, though, on the daily triangle. You're going to see this here. Higher highs, lower lows, bang, 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 bang. Inside day, bang into here. So how are we going to get outside to take that or that? It would be rev strat week and... Once again, this monthly has just been getting tighter and tighter and tighter in here, and so and it's still inside month. And so, uh, if Baidu's not uh, doing the Baidu moves that she usually does, that's why. If we go to CAVM, CAVM holding up better. Uh, and remember on these monthly hammer, 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 and still above that in the semis, goes inside weak to see if it's st strong enough to take a shot towards that side if it goes down most likely two bar pattern but it is starting off as an inside day inside week here to see if there's any more uh gas in the tank crm still having its issues in crm inside inside week here and uh so still stuck in this big range here and that's all you want to be aware of that uh but it is inside inside week if you go to um expe EXPE was nice inside week down hit combination with the monthly weeks takes the month all right and so uh, just b being aware of the slight lower low here but anytime you got full time from counting to the downside you are inside month and down for EXPE below uh, 117.35 because you got trip advisor still stinking the joint up down in here now granted doji month that's good potentially on the weekly 
You'll see this pokes up just a little bit and comes back in two bar pattern, but would be rev strat because it opens and closes within that inside bar. So it goes rev strat down below 47.14. If we go to um, FEYE, piggy uh, inside week, but trying to go inside month, but I know that people like to keep an eye on that. So uh, there it is. If we go to F5. F5 still coming up. The problem here is you're going to have a lot of eyeballs on the new highs. If you go to like this, whenever you're challenging all this stuff, there's certainly going to be a lot of eyeballs. But uh, it does start off as an inside day. And so the question is, expand this or drop back into the range in here. If we go to uh, LRCX semi. LRCX comes in, and LRCX, though, maintaining here, albeit, once again, doji on the month, and all these dojis and inside months are going to set up for an interesting January, I'll tell you that much. Uh, but, for now, inside, inside week, and we can watch that with the semis. MLNX in the semis, however, handily outperforming nowhere near the highs, and now trying to go rev strat to the downside weekly itself. If we go to uh, NVIDIA, yar. NVIDIA just taking no prisoners, goes outside weak to the upside, and with a thunderous rally on the bell, I don't know if anybody saw that, but bam, uh, what that does set up is a daily momentum hammer. Now, here's the old triangle support, comes down there, holds triangle support, and then rockets back up. You just want to be aware of when you're trading a momentum hammer like that of what formed it, and that was 10 minutes of straight up, but above that on Monday, we'll certainly respect that. Um uh, going into new highs. Uh, if we go to uh, Palo Alto, Palo Alto still stuck in the mud. Here, inside, inside week to see if there's more down sideways measured move puker or trying to come back up. If it does go up, you got to be aware of any change in continuity because you've got uh, almost for sure a three bar pattern. If we go to PayPal, PayPal also another one of them, rev strat weaker to the downside, inside we countered with that, so we'll see if there's any movement there, still doji on the month, the problem. Corvo in the semis, inside week, the problem is how you're going to get outside of this, right? And so I know a lot of people are like, what's your big winner? I'm like, a lot of my business here is showing you where you're going to get chopped up and why, why you're going to be chopped up, right? Not getting out of here is going to be a problem, especially here because you're still doji on the month. Right, doge, doge, and here, stuck in here. So uh, you can look at this daily triangle like this and keep this on the back burner and see when it takes a shot at either side of that thing. If you go to uh, Spelunker, similar, you can see that triangle there to keep an eye on. It's inside, inside week and inside day, but uh, you, you want to try and get somehow get outside of all that stuff. But uh, if you go to Tech Data, Tech Data a little better up in here. Trying to hold on to this monthly up in here. Chops them up a little bit. But you are inside weak. Like here. If it wants to go to new highs. If it wants to drop back in off that inside weak. If you go to Twitter. Twitter inside weak. And the problem once again here is real tight daily. How do we get out of this thing? Higher high. Lower low. Higher high. Lower low. Higher high. And then back into the middle. So it goes inside weak. The good thing about the inside week is that if it goes inside week, you go inside week and month up above 1951. The problem is this outside month, and how are you going to get outside of this outside month? It's most likely two-month inside pattern. Uh, if we go to Verisign, Verisign uh, still two months within this thing, but it does go month and down below 77.98, and... Might be playable, but you want to keep an eye on this 77.98. It's right here, or it's right this here. But uh, just keep an eye on this triangle stuff in here because you'd want it to get through this kind of stuff in here. If we go to uh, Western Digi, Western Digi holding this little gap and comes back and tests it. And Western Digi goes inside weak, but still walking up. Remember, it used to be a lot higher, so uh, we'll see how that one comes. If we go to the Gamers, MGM, Doji on the month, but inside weak. And once again, inside week caused by this multiple inside day pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six. How do you get outside this outside day? Because you get LVS. Same deal, which forms the inside week. Win resorts. Here, same deal. Uh, so try, still trying to get out of this range here. So here, you can keep an eye on this stuff in here. 
So the, hopefully for a better move, you get this thing to go like that, then inside we can down and measured move and go take a shot at these lower triangles, but uh, we'll have to see how it plays out. If you go to the home builders, inside day, ITB, here, inside day, inside week, XHB, XHB the same. So uh, not too much over there. You got Toll Brothers. Here's an inside week. Still has a big range to get out of, but it's inside day, inside week. Pulte Home. Here, a little bit worse. Lower on the inside week. If we go to uh, KBH, see that a little better. Holding inside week. However, your risk would be coming off the triangle like this. Here, but still holding a little bit higher. Uh, Lennar. Here, another inside week. Weyerhaeuser, outside week. So how does Weyerhaeuser get out of that? And Weyerhaeuser, and watching all these things in combination can be really be helpful here. So you got the inside day to try and how do you get out of this thing? Uh, but if you go to HOV, Vinian, the old used to be somebody waking up on high volume here. Uh, so I might kind of keep an, on the, keep an eye on the little guy because the little guy's been uh, doing the damage here. Uh, if we go to... Uh, FSLR on the solars real quick. FSLR, nice triangle here. Bang, 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 bang. Doji, and then right back up on the daily. Go to the weekly here. So we got some room on this big old triangle here. And remember, once again, used to be somebody here. If they have this still bright green in the month, now probably inside month. But it is bright green. It's on the move. And so when you watch it, oftentimes they all try and go together here. Now CSIQ is trying to go inside month as well. But... Starting off as an inside week to see if it can take a shot up towards that would be nice. SPWR, still a pig, but uh, inside week there and JKS too. So we can watch those solar inside weeks. Combination, just a few more. Gannett, GCI, inside week momentum hammer. Question is whether this was the wipeout, and now we can come back and take all this stuff out. Uh, once again, used to be a lot higher, so we can keep an eye on that. If we go to GPRE here, the Green Plains, and this thing, I don't know where you've been all month, but hammer counter shooter and coming up into this stuff here. So that's still nicely on the move. That's the only signal we have at this point. HLF, oh no, remember the rev strat month, last month puke. And now trying to come back into this stuff. And now the question here on the weekly, is it going to expand this? You got your inside week. Is it going to try and pull back up into here? Or is it all game over finally for this thing with the inside week? If you go to Mattel... You'd think it'd be Christmas, but it's an inside week right now. And presently below the inside month potential combination. You go to some of them ags, Monsanto, trying to come back up off this monthly hammer. And remember, we took this thing to the upside and then come back in here, take these guys to the downside, back in here, and then this range here on the daily going inside day after slightly taking the lower low to see if we can take a shot towards that stuff. Because it holds here, I believe, is an inside week. Yes, it does. Inside week. Inside day combo, if we go to uh, uh, Mosaic, remember trying to come out of the ashes, but stuck in this lower triangle here, higher, high, lower, low, higher, high, lower, low, and now inside week, remember the monthly, here, it's going to be a lot of eyeballs up into here, so stalling out, uh, not uncommon, however, you got the inside day, but if you look at AGU, this is potentially a problem, when you have a weekly like this, Yay! Boo! In their face. And so, uh, potentially, uh, some issues there for AGU due to, uh, on that reversal. If we go to uh, PRLG. PRLG, and the potential here, inside, inside, week. Inside, 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 weeks. Go up, sideways, measured, move, and, and take that out. Right now, it's still doji on the month because of these weeks. But certainly, would be pay attention if there's any follow-through from this sideways and try and take a bunch of that stuff out. If we go to uh, SIMO, uh, RevStrat week to the upside, inside week, hammer above 45.29. Still would be inside month, so be aware of that. If you go to Soda Pop, still going. Soda Pop, inside week on the highs. And uh, remember how this has gone RevStrat month here, inside month here, and now just, once again, it used to be a lot higher, and now another inside week. TWX here, 
above the inside month and just starting off as an inside day to see if there's any continuation. Right now, slow waka waka, but we'll see uh, if anything good news comes out of there. And STRP, this is a Twitter request, inside day. Uh, so starting off as an inside day, and if you look at the monthly, you'll see this here. Shooter red red but now trying to come back up out of this and you did take this outside month to the downside and just trying to walk up here just still a lot of room in here to try and get out of there weekly here you can see how does it this the good thing is you took that out and went up here slightly took them out but then you got the higher low in here you do have the higher high in here all you got is an inside day so no real big actionable signals on that if we go to tesla last but not least tesla and tesla goes inside week and up inside day and up combo on friday very nice and monthly what we've been watching for a long time now, finally a little better because, remember, this is one, two, three, four months completely within this bar's range. Then challenged it, took it out after this outside month. So we wanted to get back into that, right, which we did. The low is 192. So once we got back into 192 and you got those actionable signals and full throttle back upside, that's good because we want to see if we can uh, take that fractal triangle, the outside month, back to the upside. If you look at the daily, you're going to see this. Just trying to expand that tighter, smaller triangle. And try and get back up and try and take out some of this stuff. But uh, no new actionable signals now that the weekly has exhausted. But it is still a two-day inside pattern because both of these days it didn't take out that high. So when it takes out, if it takes out uh, Friday's highs, uh, that would be a two-day inside pattern trying to go to the upside with some full time frame cotton to the upside. Uh, what we do have is we have this week... Uh, you know, and a lot of people will be doing the holiday stuff, and then the final week of the year, and we're going to have two short weeks, uh, the end of the week, the end of the year, and the first week of the year. And the good part about that is that creates a lot of inside bar equilibriums, and as you can see, that's going to help because you'll have a lot of combination of inside weeks, and as you can see, all these inside, uh, all these inside months, so potentially uh, some good action coming in January. Right now, consolidating at some highs here. Uh, it's going to be a lot of case by case basis, uh, sector by sector. Uh, and, you know, unless they uh, they start jettison, you know, back to the upside. But for right now, not uncommon for a lot of the stuff to consolidate and, uh, you know, to just be aware of anything that's inside on longer-term time frames. All right, that's going to do it for this week. I'm Rob Smith of the Black Quan Edge VTF here at T3 Live.